Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I just wanted to give everyone a quick update on the channel. Um, it's been an interesting year in the world of cybersecurity, and lately my work has been pushing me to learn development best practices so that I can start applying security controls as we migrate apps to the cloud. Um, so in the spirit of that, we created a GitHub. Uh, this is where we are going to store the various scripts that we create, and we will be making more YouTube videos breaking down these scripts later on. Uh, these scripts will revolve around PowerShell and will include on-premise as well as Azure 365 PowerShell and even other integrations like IT Glue that can be done via PowerShell. Uh, these scripts uh, should make some of your tasks easier, or at the very least, they should serve as a jump point for you to write your own scripts for your own unique uh, use cases. On the Azure side of things, we will be focusing mainly on the Graph API and how to navigate the differences with the new commands. Um, I stumbled upon this path as I was trying to integrate various applications with Azure and I realized that most of them just suck. Uh, so they leave a lot to be desired and that kind of information is important to me as a cloud security engineer. So I started scripting my own methods of extracting information from Azure. Along the way, I figured I should probably standardize these things and document them so that others can benefit too. So the general use case for this is that we're developing automation in a development environment. In that development environment, we need to authenticate with an enterprise application to Azure. Uh, scripts that are useful enough to become scheduled jobs that run all the time get imported into an Azure automation account and are run using a managed identity. Uh, specifically, what I'm trying to do is automatically document everything in Azure and pump it into IT Glue. Uh, and those jobs are going to run as automation. And in the process, you know, things, other things that we need to do, like mass password resets and things of that nature can be accomplished with the developer's account. Um, so to illustrate this, I've created a few repositories in here, which you can browse as needed. The main repo that I will be covering is the Azure PowerShell repo. Inside of this repo, I have a few getting started files that we'll walk through in the next few videos so that everyone's on the same page. Uh, these include setting up a basic development environment, the secret store, creating the required service principles, granting those service principles the correct permissions, and then using them to connect to the Graph API. Some of the tools we're going to be using include VS Code, uh, so that we can, this is where we're actually going to be writing things. And then we also have uh, GitHub Desktop and Notepad++ so that we can push those things to our repositories. So if that is something that you're looking for, don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll see you in the next video.